On his third day in the dock as a state witness, Kanyangila warned Judge Munsu that the suspects have been plotting to flee Namibia if released on bail, at least according to Google searches obtained from the cell phone of former Justice Minister Saki Shangala. Atui Kulipi, he says, allegedly raked in $75 million from his role in the syndicate of the $317 million Namibian dollars illicit purse. He told the court that it would take years to extradite if one of the suspects flees the country, and such delays will mean the judiciary will be forced to withdraw or strike the case off the roll. Kanyangela further stated that four suspects, including Samiri Bosses in Iceland and lawyer Maren de Klerk, whose law firm de Klerk Hornen Kutsia was allegedly used to facilitate the payments in the syndicate, remain at large due to delays to extradite them. Under the Anti-Corruption Act, a person found guilty of corruption can be sentenced up to 25 years in prison. Uh -huh. And that is what we also can expect for the sentencing of these accused persons. Okay. And how would you describe um, the number 25 years to you? Uh, is it a short or a lengthy sentence of imprisonment? It is a lengthy period of imprisonment. He also stated that Hatui Kulipi may use large sums of money in offshore accounts in Dubai to survive, has all his assets seized, and likely to be forfeited to the state. Kanyangila then retracted his version that investigations are complete in the case during his cross examination by Hatui Kulipi's defense lawyer, Richard Metcalf. Metcalf also poked holes in the audit report by Deloitte and Touche, who the ACC appointed as investigators to gather evidence from the devices seized from Hatui Kulipi's cousin James and his co-accused, saying they were obtained illegally. Kanyangela reiterated his objection for the granting of bail to Hatui Kulipi. The assets of the applicant is currently under restraint order. And there is a possibility for such assets to be forfeited to the state. So, there will be nothing that can tie him to Namibia, apart from being a, a Namibian citizen or having a family in Namibia. Kanyangela further revealed that Hatui Kulipi allegedly paid $500,000 from one of his companies, JTH Trading, to a company owned by Silas Mongoba, African Glass, to pay himself out of prison, which has failed. Mongoba was arrested during a sting operation for attempting to bribe an AR activist to stage a protest demanding the release of Atui Kulipi and his co-accused for allegedly being unfairly treated by the justice system. The bail hearing will continue tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Kaipa Herwekanji, NBC News, Vinduk.